give you plenty. Chris called and was delighted to learn he could get a $350,000 policy for under $27 a month. Ellen could get a $250,000 policy for under $18 a month. Life is too precious not to protect. Call this number or go to selectquote.com. Selectquote. We shop, you save. Tomorrow morning, starting at 6 Eastern, Morning News gets a wake-up call. Morning Express with Robin Mead. Tomorrow morning, 6 Eastern on Headline News. Are you a senior concerned about financial independence? There's an innovative and powerful tool that could help you have money, freedom, and peace of mind. It's called a reverse mortgage, and it's got a lot of seniors talking. If you're 62 or over and own a home, do what these seniors have done. Call Financial Freedom, America's reverse mortgage specialist. With a reverse mortgage, a lender uses the equity in your home to pay you. You can receive your money monthly as a lump sum or as a line of credit. And as long as you live in your home, you don't have to repay the loan. Use the money any way you want. Living and medical expenses, a new car or RV, gifts to your grandchildren. It's your choice. And choice means the freedom to live the life you deserve. Get the facts. Call Financial Freedom and get a free video that explains everything about reverse mortgages. There's no obligation. Your new life is waiting. Call now, 1-800-728-9031. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We're closely following the high drama on Capitol Hill, where a baseball superstar, Roger Clemens, is fighting to defend his reputation. The seven-time Cy Young Award winner again flatly denies he ever used steroids, human growth hormone, or any other performance-enhancing substance. This panel is in a 15-minute recess with maybe 10 minutes left to go in that break. His former personal trainer, Brian McNamee, was until just a few weeks ago or months ago a very close friend. But McNamee is testifying, in effect, against Clemens. He repeated his allegation that he injected the drugs into Clemens at the pitcher's request. A Republican member of the House Oversight Committee attacked McNamee's credibility. He said before McNamee admitted injecting three players, he repeatedly denied giving anyone steroids. Here's that exchange. Is that a lie? Yes, sir. This is, this is really disgusting. You're here as a sworn uh, uh, witness. You're here to tell the truth. You're here under oath. And yet we have lie after lie after lie after lie where you, 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 you've, you've told this committee and the people of this country uh, that uh, Roger Clemens did things that I don't know what to believe. I know one thing I don't believe, and that's you. Ivan Gold is a sports attorney, kind enough to sit in and listen to this and comment on it. Ivan, thanks for your time. First of all, welcome again. What's your comment you. about uh, Brian McNamee's credibility in the face of Dan Burton's questions? Brian McNamee is holding up well. Just take a look at his face. He's telling the truth. Pettit corroborates him. Not Black corroborates him. Brian McNamee's in a tough spot. Roger Clemens is a close friend, a guy he idolizes, a guy he's helped throughout the years, and now he's forced to testify against him. He doesn't want to testify against him, but he has to under the law. There's legal leverage on Brian McNamee. It's Roger Clemens who looks terrible, talking to the nanny regarding Jose Canseco's party before turning the name over to the committee. And then the Mitchell report, what was his excuse for not co operating in the Mitchell report. He didn't hear about it from his agent. These are preposterous excuses. All Roger Clemens has done is become a bully, ask for sympathy, and say, I'm the great Roger Clemens, believe me. There's no perjury here because he can't even understand the questions. He can't even respond. It's hard to listen to Roger Clemens because he doesn't even answer. And frankly, I think the people on this committee are frustrated with his inability to understand the questions. What was so important about the Canseco party? It took place, I believe, in Florida. They were teammates with the Blue Jays, 1998. Why is it so important that McNamee's story, that, that uh, Clemens was there, how is that probative? because the committee wants to find out and look into McNamee's credibility. McNamee says Clemens was at the party and they spoke about steroids. Clemens said he was never at the party, therefore McNamee is lying, he can't be trusted, don't believe him. That's what that's all about. And they got an affidavit from Jose Canseco saying he was never at the party, but yet 
um, the nanny of Roger Clemens, who they tried to get a hold of, said that Clemens was at the party. And of course, Clemens talks to the nanny before his lawyers turn the nanny's information over to the committee. It's just a little thing that Clemens is somehow trying to discredit McNamee. But on the substantive issues of whether or not he used steroids, the fact that Andy Pettit and Chuck Knobloch corroborate Brian McNamee, and you hear Brian McNamee's testimony, it rings true. Clemens cannot get out of this, frankly, because he is not articulate enough and cannot understand the questions, and frankly, is not eloquent enough to communicate what happened from his perspective. He is going downhill and downhill fast, and that is why a guilty man should never testify if he can avoid it. I give Clemens credit for having the guts to come here and testify, but what he should have done is cooperate with Mitchell, given a statement, deny to use steroids, and never said another word. This is what he gets for testifying being guilty. Ivan, uh, tell us again how Andy Pettit's uh, testimony uh, or statement has, has evolved over the years. What's he saying now because that he didn't say maybe two years ago? None of these ball players want to talk about any of the other players. There's a code of ethics. It's almost like police officers. But finally, they had legal leverage on Andy Pettit, too, and Chuck Knobloch, too. And they, hey, these guys know this is the federal government. This is serious. This is Congress. So they said, yeah, I talked to Roger Clemens about HGH. That's what's changed before he denied even using HGH. Every ball player in the Mitchell Report denied using steroids until after the Mitchell Report. And they've all admitted to using steroids with the exception of Roger Clemens. So Pettit's testimony is so crucial because he discredits his good buddy and teammate, Roger Clemens. And it goes, I think and it was hum and it goes from he said, he said to two people, at least two, if you include Canseco, I guess. Three, right? And these are credible sources. Right. These are close friends and teammates of Roger Clemens. Why would they lie? All right. It I doesn't make sense. Understood. Point taken. Ivan Gold, thank you very much. We hope to call on you again shortly. Uh, about five thank minutes you. to go in this recess in the committee hearing. A Democratic member of the panel raised questions about his credibility, Clemens' cred credibility. Congressman Elijah Cummings grilled the pitcher on sworn statements from his former teammate, Andy Pettit, who has admitted using steroids. Pettit told the committee Clemens admitted using human growth hormone. Now, Mr. Clemens, I'm reminding you that you are under oath. Mr. Clemens, do you think Mr. Pettit was lying when he told the committee that you admitted using human growth hum hormones? Mr. Congressman, uh, Andy Pettit is my friend. He will be my, he was my friend before this. He will be my friend after this. And again, I think Andy has misheard. Andy has misheard, and Andy was excused from testifying today. We may hear from him later. We're going to take a quick break, get to the thoughts of Larry Smith, who's been covering that uh, hearing. We're waiting for the uh, recess to end and Chairman uh, Waxman to reconvene this hearing. We'll be right back with further coverage. Don't go away. One in three men will face prostate issues? One in three, really. That's why One A Day Men's is a complete multivitamin with lycopene, which Harvard studies suggest may help prostate health. One A Day Men's. Is the IRS keeping you up at night? Are you afraid of losing everything? Don't let the IRS control your life. Hello, I'm John Harris, president of J.K. Harrison Company. The IRS can attach your wages, your pension, your savings, even your Social Security checks. If penalties and interest have made your IRS problem go from bad to worse, call us now. Call the tax team at J.K. Harris now for your free confidential tax settlement analysis. Call 1-800-480-5280. There are cinnamon rolls. And then there are Pillsbury Grand Cinnamon Rolls, made with Cinnabon Cinnamon. See the difference? Attention Medicare diabetics. Are you tired of finger pain? Does your current pharmacy provide you options? Is the Medicare paperwork confusing? Diabetic Experts of America understands. Call now at 1-800-210-8689. We offer brands that require less blood and provide the option to test at sites other than your fingers and never run out again. Call 1-800-210-8689. Our diabetic consultants are standing by to talk to you. My name is Sandra. 
and I got on eHarmony, and I met and married the most wonderful man of my life, Scott. I told my sister Tracy to give eHarmony a try. She met and married Todd when Todd's mother Eunice saw how great of a match we were. And she was ready to get a dog, and so I, <laughs> I just asked her, I said, Mom, wouldn't you rather have